Hey, what is up, Pokemon Pit Beta? This is Case Victor here with actually my first upload here, and well, this is just a really cool to upload here. And I know this is PO; it's not the best quality, but hopefully you guys can look past that. And this was a great battle, solid 50 turns, and it's against one of my best friends on PO Finchinator, who has who also has a channel. It just doesn't upload very regularly. But if you look to the left, my team is Abomasnow, Kyurem, Mew, Heatran, Duck Trio, and Tentacruel. I wouldn't say this is too standard hail, but you do have Heatran, Tentacruel, and Abomasnow, which are usually on hail and Kyurem. Mew and Dougie kind of help me out. And Doug Trio, of course, traps. And Mew, well, you'll see what Mew does, hopefully. And if you look to the right, you're going to see a Ninetales, Volcarona, D Knight, Wobbuffet, Latios, and Donphan. I think these are two pretty solid teams. We've laddered pretty well with each, and so uh, let's just get right into the battle. Alright guys, looks like he's going to lead off with uh, his own Don Fan. I'm going to try to lead off with Doug Cho, try to pick off his Nine Tails pretty early game, just hoping he would misplay. But I'm going to miss the Toxic you saw, and he was like, oh, okay, just go for the Toxic, I feel bad. And I was like, uh, oh, okay, that's, that's alright. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. But now I'm going to switch into Heat Round, which is a very risky play, knowing he could have Earthquake. I probably wouldn't have done this, like, if I wasn't being, like, so risky and stuff. But I, I just felt risky that day, you know? I was feeling good. I was feeling I was feeling pretty fine. Feeling pretty fine. So I'm going to go for the Protect right now to gain some leftovers. Because you can never go wrong with getting any leftovers. This could matter late game. Or just later on in the game, I guess. So could totally wait. And I'm going to go to my Bombus now. Uh, try, I want to get the weather advantage right now. And he's going to go for the Earthquake. Does a, I, I guess it would break a sub, but it doesn't do very solid damage. And Hail and Toxic is kind of getting to him. I'm going to go for the Elite Seed. I didn't really go for the Ice Shard uh, because I, I just didn't really want... I was hoping he would go to like a Volcarona or a Ninetales or something like that and get some damage off with uh, some Hail. So I'm, I'm going to go for the Protect now, knowing he'll probably go for the Encore. And uh, I do get the Leech Seed back, which is very fortunate, actually, because Abomasnow, not really the strongest Pokemon. But I'm going to set up the sub, and he's going to go for the Encore. And it looks like this Wobbuffet isn't very fast, because I've seen a lot of Wobbuffet where they're, like, where they're timid. And I think they reach around, like, 184 speed, if I don't recall. I'm not sure, though. But he's going to bring in that Nine Tails, getting up his own weather. And he's going to go for the Flamethrower. I'm just going to stay in and keep um, subbing. I don't mind subbing, in all honesty. Because if I can, if I keep subbing, I can eventually get a leap seat off. But he's gonna make the smart play and go into Volcarona. I do, I go for the fake substitute. It looks like, and look, I'm gonna get the leftovers, and my um, encore is gonna end. So this does leave me free to go for the lead seed, which is very fortunate because it hits this time. This is actually the first match where I think it hit like every time, because that never happens. I don't know about you guys, but it just doesn't happen. But now he's gonna go into Wobbuffet, trying to pick off my uh, Bomba Snow. Probably with the Ice Shard, and then hopefully Encore me into it. But this he ran really wants to up the rocks because this is a Sun team. And if I can get him to bring in Don Fan, I can hopefully revenge kill him. And I am able to bring in Don Fan. And unfortunately, I have to go for this Dog Throx again because I am Encore into it, which really sucks because I really don't want to do that right now. I want a Magma Storm or something. But I'm going to go in my own Mew, trying to. I have Ice Beam and Flamethrower and all that stuff. And he is going to rabbit spin away. I was like, yes, this is my one fine chance to get rid of his Don Fan forever. And now he brings in Wobbuffet. And I'm like, oh my god, my I hate my life. I do have the Flamethrower, and that was really going to suck. Because you could have handled the Latios, because I do have Ice Beam, and the D Knight. Which, and I, I, right now, looking back at this battle, this is the one misplay I really thought I would, this would be bad for me. And it looks like Mew is going to faint right here, or, or not, he's going to go for the Encore, I don't know why I didn't go for the Encore, why I went for the Encore, maybe you want to keep Wobbuffet alive for some reason, I'm not sure, but he is going to go into his D-Knight, and his D-Knight is going to take that Flamethrower, of course, really well, because he does probably have multi-scale, unless he wants to run Inner Focus for the Jirachis, which I actually do sometimes on my Life Orb variants, but that's not the point, I'm going to do in my own Heat Ran, hope, I was kind of hoping he would go for the Outrage right off the bat, he, I doubt that would happen, but... Now I'm going to go into my Mew, and he's going to go for the Dragon Claw. And right now, I know I have to fodder something off on my team. And I know I can kill the rest of his team with a pretty smart combination of Tentacool and other Pokemon. But I'm going to go for the Memento now. And 
since I'm jolly, I'm going out speed the plus one. So it looks like he is bulky. And I'm going to bring in a bomb snow right now. And what a bomb snow is going to do is it's going to set the hail and it's going to uh, get residual damage. But I'm going to predict him to expect the lead seed. I mean, the ice shard and go for the lead seed. I'm pretty sure he predicted for me to go for an ice move. But right now, I don't care because that, that really saved me right there. But now he's going to go into his own Latios while I do go into my Heat Ran. And since most Latios are kind of choiced, I'm going to try to go for the Protect right here. And if I can go for Protect, I can predict him what to do. I can predict what he's going to do. And he's going to go for the Trick, which just tells me he's, scar with, he's choiced. And right now, I really don't mind being choiced. And I was hoping for a Scarf. And I was very happy I got a Scarf, actually. Because now that I got the Scarf, uh, I can outspeed basically his whole team. And... I think that's great, and that Draco meter also isn't going to do that a lot, so it looks like he might have been fast, because I've seen Draco meters do much more to my Heran, unless they're specs, and I totally understand that. And so he's going to go for the Draco meter one more time, and it's going to do a solid chunk to me. Well, I wouldn't say solid, but for, for minus two, it would do a solid chunk, but now he's at minus four, or not minus four, like minus three. And I'm going to go for the rapid spin, getting rid of the rocks, so I can't bring in my Abomastone Kiram whenever I want now. Which is very fortunate because whenever Don Fan comes in, I can bring in my Kirim or my Abomas at Snow and just unload like a Dragon Pulse on someone. But I'm going to go for the Toxic. He's going to Encore Standard. And I'm going to go for the Toxic one more time. And knowing Latios' uh, moveset, he can pack the Psy Shock. And I don't think he would have no Psy Shock on a Sun Team because there would only be a point of running Surf. And so what is he, gonna, he is going to go for the Psy Shock. Thank God I predicted correctly, because if I didn't, and he goes for like the HP Fire, predicting the Switch, I'm like dead. Or the Draco Meteor, actually. That would have been awful. But I'm going to Ice Shard right now, so I do get the first kill, uh, uh, first kill on one of his Pokemon, which is really fortunate. Now he's going to make the Spark Play and go into his Ninetail, setting up the Sun. And I'm going to go into my Heat Ramp, predicting him to go for the Fire move. I'm not sure why he didn't predict me. Because he's a much better battle than that. God damn it, Finch. Why can't you why 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 can't you stop sucking? But he's a very good battler, unfortunately. And I am scarfed, as you guys remember. But Sun plus Magnus Storm equals rape. But I'm gonna go into my bomb so predicting him to switch out into Don Fan. Oh, I didn't know he was going to Don Fan. But now that he goes into Don Fan, I, I do have the hail advantage. And I don't I don't think he wants to switch into Elite Seed predicting that. And I'm going to go for the Ice Shard right here while he goes for his own. Maybe thinking I would um, go for the sub. Because I don't think Ice Shard would do too much. But I don't think it would do too little. So I'm not, it could have been a good play. But now he is going to go for, into the Nine Tails, predicting the Ice Shard, which is a good play on his part. But I'm going to set up a sub, knowing if he Ice Shards, I can just set up a nice sub and then Ice Shard him away. But now he's going to go for the Flamethrower. Flamethrower is going to get rid of me. I could have given up a perfectly good sub and gone into my Heat Ran. But I don't think that would have been the best play because it would have fought it out Don Fan. But now he's going to go into D Knight. And here's where I'm kind of worried. Because I'm going to bring in my Tentacle right here. And I'm going to make a series of awful and good plays and just a smidgen of luck. So I'm going to put this on a bit fast, guys, because this is a bit of a stolly moment. I don't have Ice Beam, guys. So looking back on this, I'm not sure why I stayed in. So I'm going to protect. Now he's at plus two. And I'm like, wow, I lost this game, didn't I? But I do have Toxic on him, and that's really important. And knowing, well, I kind of just foddered him off at this point. I was like, you know what, just get, get rid of it. I can I can revenge kill with Obamas now. But I'm going to go for the Scald. I, now I know he's the Roost variant. And the Toxic is going to bring him down to 75. I'm going for the Protect right now. And of course he sets up again. So I'm like, wow, this is great. And so now I'm really getting worried he does have the Extreme Speed. And if he does, this is a game over. But now I'm going to Protect again. And I'm going to get to double protect off. And that's a huge deal. Because now I get to double protect off. He can kill me. But now the toxic kills him. I mean, that was luck. Like, that was the definition of luck right there. But now he's going to bring in his Don Fan. And I Earth Power with my Heat Ran. I wanted to bring in my fastest Pokemon. And here's where I make just an awful misplay. I'm going to keep on going for the Earth Power thinking I'm strong. Because I'm, I'm modest. No, no, I'm actually, um, yeah, I think I'm timid. But I have like max special attack, and I thought it was, I was all tough. And as soon as I realized that, I want to get my hail up. Because case, case victory with a happy hail up is happy. And Obama still is here, and I'm getting really nervous. I mean, he can kill me with whatever he wants. I'm, 
But he's gonna go for the hidden power right here. I'm not sure why I went for the hidden power. I probably would have kept my hidden power a secret. Maybe I'm um, scaring out my Heatran if he could possibly have in power ground. Now here's a pretty critical um game uh play. I am gonna miss the magma storm, and if I don't make the miss this magma storm along with hail, I probably could have killed this thing with my Kira and with Earth Power, and this would have been a much different game, guys, because you're gonna look uh, what's gonna happen right here. I'm going to bring in my Kyurem, and think about it, he would have been around like 50, H, uh, 50 HP and kill with the hail, maybe. I'm going to survive that hidden power, and I am going to go for the Draco Meteor, which does leave me a plus two. Unfortunately, if it was the Earth Power coupled along with the with the hail damage, I probably might have killed that Volcarona, because I am modest specs, because I just love to mess stuff up. But you saw I killed the Wobbuffet, and now the Nine Tails is going to go for the Protect, and you guys can, can kind of see where this is going. This is going to end up a one-zip, non-case victory's favor. Although I do love my ult. I, I think it's pretty clever. I don't know if you guys caught it. But that was the one good thing about this battle because I lost. And I'm a loser. And I have to go home to my parents and so they can tell me I'm a loser. <laughs> it's so sad. But, hey, guys, good game. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out my channel. Uh, this is really fun. I, I don't know if you saw like, my ult, Lilla Giant. While I was playing, but I think that was pretty cool. So I'll talk to you guys later, and hopefully, I'm I'm gonna try to upload here again. If only if I get a good reaction, though. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, Suwu, and later, guys.